Welcome to the ED, EDP files. The great <laughs> Welcome eyes. to the EDP, EDP files. Outed as a predator and terminated off the platform, do they accept their fate and leave the internet for good, or do they try and revive a dead career by any means necessary? This is my nine millionth attempt at trying to create a mother YouTube channel. We'll see how long this lasts. Probably won't last long at all. Despite losing his entire audience and actively being hunted on the internet, EDP445 is still trying to make a comeback on YouTube. Unfortunately for him, it seems to be doing more harm than good. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentary. It was like no shoot, you know what I'm saying, bro? Imagine like, I can't even compare anything because that's that's like almost like, that's pretty much the worst, like, that's up there with the worst crimes you can commit, you know what I'm saying, bro? Do you like why is this dude still like free? You know what I'm saying? I good? I don't know the full story. But when it ends with pedo, I feel like the highest measures should be taken. The highest of of measures, you know? But and today, we'll be exploring the deplorable downfall and return of YouTube's as it sounds, there was once a time on the internet when everyone didn't hate EDP. Back in the late 2010s, the YouTube community looked up to him as an entertaining creator who said whatever he wanted, whenever he wanted. I'm not going to let a franchise, a corporation, or a place of business define who I am. Walmart fired me, and guess what? I couldn't be any more happier. However, his brash attitude didn't come without consequences. As his channel was suspended in July 2017 and October 2018 due to mass reports from viewers. The negativity was so bad that YouTube refused to award him his 1 million subscriber play button in 2020. YouTube That's tough. is on that little once again. They will not send me my gold play button because according to them, my channel doesn't match the criteria. Even though YouTube thought EDP didn't deserve a play button, his fans felt differently and took it upon themselves to make him one. That's cute. Holy shit, wow. So here it is. Um, See the titanium holographic shit is like, it's like a 3D, like how it has like different colors up in the actual, you know, silver part of it. You know what I mean? Despite being somewhat of a divisive figure, ADP had the respect and support of the YouTube community. But sadly, all that was about to change as EDP faced several allegations of inappropriate interactions with minors later that year. Stole a bra out the laundry mat and I sniffed it and beat off to that mother. Okay. To presenting his sick point addiction over the years. You did what? Honest. What did he say? What did he say? Here's while showcasing how much of a, a woman hating, lonely incel he is by texting several minors calling them cute, beautiful, and your babe, even after knowing their age. The main set of allegations came from a creator named Cold Raven, who claimed ADP was using his Instagram account to message and collect pictures of minors. Not long after these accusations were made public, ADP would respond to Cold Raven in his typical crude tone. EDP admits that he's a p out live on live stream. What the f are you trying to prove, bruh? Tour 15, 16, and 17, dressing like little skimpy ass f trying to set mother up, trying to message me and shit. And then when I respond back, all of a sudden I'm the piece of shit. Nah, mother you're the fucking piece of shit. And something's wrong with you. While ADP was able to walk away from the incident with his platform, it showed he had a pattern of responding to PDF allegations by claiming the people exposing him were at fault, something that would become extremely apparent in the coming months. By the 18th of April 2021, YouTube channel Predator Poachers ran by Alex Rosen, caught EDP attempting to meet a supposed 13-year-old girl he'd been messaging on Instagram months prior. Again, so what brings you out here today? Um, well, I was uh, coming out here to- Glasses off. Okay. Go ahead. Well, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake and then go back home. Um, <laughs> the dots are connecting. The dots are connecting. That's where the, the cupcake thing came from.
Okay, 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 okay. So if I look in the comments and it's like, bros looking for cupcakes, it now makes sense. Because when I see though before, I was mad confused, I ain't gonna lie. By the way, these Domino's, these, I said Domino's. These Dorito bag, these Dorito chips, like tell me, these are the best flavor. Like you can't, you can't tell me otherwise, bro. Like this is top, this is like peak, peak. So say the least of you, so you know what I'm saying? It like, mm, I, I, I could eat the bag. That's how good it is. I'm not going to, but I could. There was, you know, nothing that was going to be involved because I'm not like that. You know, well, obviously the tattoo. Why is that always like the response, bro? You know what I'm saying? There's, I wasn't gonna do anything. So why were you meeting with a with a with a child that you don't know? Somebody else's kid that you've never met before that you went out of your way to set up a time and date to meet up with them. What, what like why, why? You know, maybe I, are these are they? I guess I don't answer the cups of these questions, you know what I'm saying? Messages and stuff like that, you know what I mean? I wasn't gonna do anything. Um, I wasn't gonna do anything crazy. <laughs> I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna do I wasn't gonna do anything. Okay. <laughs> but you can see how it look weird, huh? It look it do look weird. Like like look at like take a step back. You know what I'm saying? Look at the full picture. <laughs> it look weird, huh? Yeah, that was freaky ass little dude. Where's the EDP's cupcake they gallery like which us. spread across the they internet like, like wildfire they like and prompt YouTube to terminate all of EDP's channels, which had over 2 million subscribers collectively. Despite being caught red-handed, EDP would still try to make Alex and the Predator Poacher team look like the bad guys using him for clout. Chet Goldstein, or should I call you Alex Rosen? I've been making videos for coming up on 11 years now. I've seen punk ass bitch made whole ass motherfuckers like yourself come and fucking go. My bad, guys. My fingers are on. Okay. He, I said I'm recording, but they should know what I mean, right? 10,000 subscribers and then automatically jump up to 108K because they're over here, you know, piggybacking, you know, off of the success of other fucking YouTubers. Throughout the ordeal, ADP was unwilling to show any remorse for his actions and tried to pin the blame on someone else. As a result, the internet showed him no mercy and did everything in its power to ensure he'd never have an online career again. In the following months, ADP's Facebook and Instagram accounts would be taken down, forcing him to move to more obscure platforms like 3 Speak. With a post reading, 3 Speak TV is where you can find me. Glad to be back making content for y'all. ADP wouldn't be back for very long. Yo, this dude don't know how to quit on Gap. Yo, if there was, if if not quitting was a person, sadly it would be ADP, bro. That's tough. That's like the wrong person to have that kind of energy too, bro. Imagine. Long, as his page on 3Speak would later be taken down. Around this time, ADP tried to launch a personal website, ADP445.com, but it would never make it off the ground. Going after his online prospects wasn't enough for former fans, as soon they went after his personal life. They got him fired from various ride sharing apps, they posted about him working at McDonald's. Recently known for ED fucking P. This man's known for being an Eagles fan, working at the clown, the frown, the Mickey D's. They even revealed the address of his CVS store security job. Reach a level on YouTube where people, you know, recognize you and they're giving you money and you're making money. It was clear the trolls were doing everything in their power to make ADP's life a living hell. However, his next move would only add more fuel to the fire. On the 25th of March 2023, ADP attempted to rewrite the events surrounding his fall from grace with a post titled, The Events That Led Up To My Setup. During the post he wrote, I want to go into specific detail about the events that led up to my setup because I don't feel like it was entirely clear in the video I released. ADP went on to claim that Alex Rosen had initially presented him with a filming opportunity but but didn't specify what the role was about. Reading, he told me that he had a film opportunity and wanted to know if I was interested. The email didn't address what type of film it was or the type of role I'd be potentially acting out if I was selected. I deleted all of my emails and unfortunately, this is one of the emails I was unable to retrieve and forward to my attorney. Following this, ADP claimed that Alex had set a date and time to meet up for his audition and that it would not be going off a script but an improvised act. Reading, Chet, who is Alex, responded and confirmed that the 
location was correct. He also provided a date and time and informed me that they would have me act out slash improv a random scene to determine if I was fit for the part. I was confident that this was a legit film opportunity. To add some credibility to his claims, EDP stated that there was a witness that day who saw the entire incident and even asked them to come forward with their story, reading, I know that there is an eyewitness out there that drove by the right aid and filmed me and Javier having our conversation when we first met up. If that person can come forward and present this important footage with a timestamp of 1.45 on April 18th, 2021, it can help me solidify the evidence that I've presented so far. To summarize, EDP wanted people to believe that he wasn't there that day to get a cupcake, but instead was doing an improv act at Alex Rosen's request while bystanders were filming. It was a strange tale to say the least. However, no one was willing to give him the benefit of the doubt, as commenters pointed out various issues with his side of the story and the evidence presented, reading, You can clearly see that screenshot of the email is fake and photoshopped. You need to stop lying because nobody believes in you and seek professional help. As well as, You can't retrofit multiple allegations paired to you being caught in the sting. Your arguments may be more substantiated if this was an isolated incident, but it was not. That's the biggest hindrance. Accept and move on. Better yourself and maybe your life will be on a different trajectory. But it's not, because you can't do that. If lying to people wouldn't restore his career, then EDP tried to take a different route. Apologizing. By the 7th of July 2023, ADP would post his It's too late to apologize. It's too late. You know what I'm saying? What that's all up? It's too late to apologize. Check everybody out. Is you? Oh, no, 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 no. All right, cool. First apology video, which started with him right. trying to emotionally appeal viewers. First and foremost, I want to say thank you so much to my loving, supporting, caring friends and family. Um, without you guys, I mean, no, I ain't gonna say to be honest with you, I probably would have been fucking committed suicide. I've had a few close calls, you know what I mean? And um, each and every single time you guys have uh, gave me gave me the biggest, most heartwarming hug. ADP continued this by doing the right thing and taking responsibility for his deplorable behavior. I don't want to come on here, cry, boo-hoo, beg for people's forgiveness, you know what I mean? Um, the only thing that I'm trying to go for in the distant future is redemption, you know what I mean? The only thing that I'm oh. trying to go for is uh -huh. to restore honor and to restore um, a positive outlook on my name. In addition to this, ADP claimed he'd be seeking professional help. Like I mentioned before, man, I'm seeking the proper help that I need to seek out, um, doing whatever I can to make sure that this does not happen again. While ADP's apology had a hint of remorse, he failed to directly address his crimes and refused to apologize to his victims. Details that the rest of the internet would pick up on. And I don't even think this apology is genuine. This feels once again like another plan of his to try and crawl back online because he has done it so many times before. But he can't even address the actual issue itself. And like not only the cupcake incident, he doesn't even mention the other victims outside of that either. On one side, some Same. viewers wanted to believe EDP was ready to turn a new leaf and stop his cupcake chasing ways. On the other, some viewers <laughs> rightfully assumed EDP was only apologizing crazy. to recover his platform and would go back to his old ways given the chance. Crazy. Unfortunately for EDP, this assumption would prove to be correct only a few months after his apology. On the 9th of October 2023, Jadeon and Skeeter Jean would conduct a second sting operation on EDP. The only difference this time was that EDP was messaging an actual old girl and was trying to meet her at his dialysis appointment. That is Many insane. of you might know of a fellow that goes by the name EDP 445, aka Bryant Moreland is his, his legal name. It seems Damn, that the government? in the last couple months he's been talking to an actual factual or unique fifth girl. When Jideon and Skeeter Jean finally got to confront EDP about his disgusting behavior, he refused to acknowledge it and claimed it was illegal for them to film him. Well, Brian, I am with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. I'm just seldom at a loss for words. You know, two years ago you were caught. Oh, by the way, it's illegal for you guys to film me here. Within minutes of being caught in the act, EDP would lash out at his victim and say this. He's texting me right now, so. What is he saying? He's, he told me, fuck you, bitch. That's what he said. We got him. And but I'm already here. I filed the report. Looking at EDP now, it was obvious that he didn't care about redemption. <laughs> 
<laughs> Welcome back to How Not to Get Away with Murder. <laughs> Today we're gonna be our first criminal is gonna be EDP. <laughs> what the help? All EDP cared about Yo. was restoring his long dead internet career. Thankfully, the internet wouldn't let him do that, but that didn't stop him from trying. Yo, W Internet, you know what I'm saying, bro? W fucking Internet. By the 1st of August 2024, EDP uploaded a video titled Here We Go to a channel he created the year before. In the video, he expressed concern about the possibility of the channel being deleted. Alright, y'all, so this is my 9 million attempt at trying to create a motherfucking channel. Um, we'll see how long this fucking bullshit lasts. Probably won't last fucking long at all, to be honest with you. Um, to mitigate the inevitable backlash, EDP would disable the dislike button, as well as delete as many negative comments as possible. But he couldn't delete them all, with comments reading, How many times have we got to teach you a lesson, old man? Collab with Ava Chris Tyson and Dr. Disrespect. As well <laughs> as, kids, everyone, literally. <laughs> Yo, we're cooked, bruv. I feel like, well, this dude isn't like, I guess he was big when everything popped off. Why is it more and more of these giant creators are coming out to be weirdos? You know what I'm saying, bro? They're coming out to be weirdos. Like, what? And it's not just in the, like, it, 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 it used to, I feel like it used to be just like Hollywood and just like music. Like, you know what I'm saying? But now it's creeping like everywhere, bro. I guess you can't. With like eight bill eight million people in the freaking world, it's gonna and like some somebody in every industry is gonna be freaking weirdo. But like, yo, it's insane. It's insane. He is hungry and looking to flex like he did that one boxer at Walmart. Despite the trolling, ADP would continue to make videos discussing various odd topics like adult content and conspiracy theories. However, two particular videos would stand out amongst the rest mm -hmm. and give some insight into his current mental state. The first one is his mistakes were made video, which saw ADP defending his predatory behavior by claiming he was in a quote, dark place. There's no reconciling with these motherfuckers. There's no getting through to them. There's no you know, trying to get these people to understand um, where you were at at that point in time in your life. You know, addressing what happened a few years ago, the whole incident and stuff like that. I'll be the first person to tell you, I was in a very dark place in my life, a very dark place. ADP would further defend himself by stating that people who make such mistakes should seek help and imply that they should be forgiven. Take responsibility for your actions. Take accountability for your actions. Understand that there is an issue, right? Understand. But you haven't done any of that. If that's not good enough for people, well then that sounds like a fucking personal issue to me. What's even more strange is how ADP assumes apologizing to friends and family means he's showing remorse. Just because I haven't came out it made some big ass crying video, you know what I mean? Um, making a fucking ass out of myself, all hysterical on camera and shit like that, that I show no remorse. I have sat down and I have apologized to my family, right? I've apologized to my diehard friends. EDP's logic was obviously warped beyond recognition, but no one expected him to pin the blame on the minors he was messaging. I made a video a long time ago where I talked about obviously adults should be held accountable. They should get in trouble time for shit. messaging minors and engaging okay. in those type of conversations in that particular way, right? Ooh. I also feel uh, uh, minors nah she get in trouble uh, uh, for uh, messaging uh, yo yo we were he was he was yo he was so close <laughs> it was so goddamn close yo this is just like i feel like broski just got a victim mentality broski you know what i'm saying like boo me everything happens to me it's all it's all like bro you 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 messed up you know what i'm, you know what I'm saying bro you know what I'm saying? You messed up. It's a pretty big mess up, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? It's like the hole it might be it be gonna be hard to dig out of. But it ain't impossible to dig out the hole. You know what I'm saying? You take it seems like you like you you I feel like he knows like the right thing to do. 
But maybe it's his ego or something. Like, someone just won't let him do the right thing. You feel me, Broski? You know what I'm saying? He got so close there. He ain't gonna lie. So, like, ooh. <laughs> like, it almost sounded like he was learning. You know what I'm saying, bro? Almost. Adults. During his rant, ADP would also get flashbacks to the very sting operations that ruined his career and labeled the people exposing him as fake wannabes. This one chick, she messaged me, right? And she goes, oh my God, are you the real EDP? I respond back with, bitch, how old are you? And who the fuck said to you, right? <laughs> because I know fucking well, Skeeter, John, JDR. Yo, do say my PTSD story again, so I got it, y'all. <laughs> Yo, nah. Ass wannabe Chris Hansen impersonating motherfuckers, more than likely they fucking sent you. ADP would even go as far as subtly threatening those who exposed him with lethal action. Just because you think a person is guilty or not guilty, right? What the fuck? Under the law, what the fuck gives you the right to go out and start harassing people? And then when they've decided that they've had enough and they pull out that gun, and they shoot your motherfucking ass, right? All of a sudden, it was just a prank. The other recent upload that highlights EDP's lack of regret oh, towards his predatory past bro. was the end. This is, oh my gosh, bro. This is, I don't know, bro. I feel like Free Will is like the like one of the craziest double-edged swords ever, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? Because he's, he's, he's talking about that whole rant or whatever, what gives the people the right to... What is that? It's honestly ironic, honestly. Like, what gives the people a right to freaking harass him and whatever makes him feel bad about himself, bro? But what gives him the right to take away a kid's, a child's innocence or like a kid's basically free will? Because, like, if you, because as adults, it's like our job to protect, you know what I'm saying? Children, because like they, 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 they're, they're, they're young. They don't, they don't know the world. The world is very scary. You know what I'm saying? And when you're a kid, you don't really like. Everything's fun. Everything's. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't understand. You don't truly understand. Grasp the things. Some things that happen to you. You know what I'm saying? You ever like, like you just like reminisce on things that happen as a as you as you're a kid. You're like, oh, yo, that that could have gone really bad. <laughs> you know, that could have been really freaking scary, bro. It's our jobs as adults. You know what I'm saying? To look out for the for the youth. But this mother, this thing, this entity, you know what I'm saying, is talking about <laughs> how he, <laughs> other people make him feel shitty for the crimes that he's committed. But like, what? He, how does that? How, how does that? How does, you? Are you not getting that, my boy? You know what I'm saying? Are you? Is there something? There's definitely something wrong, you know what I'm saying? Up here, at Entering least, you tough know? slash interesting questions video. Like what? Around 16 minutes into the video, EDP gave this response to a question regarding his life after the cupcake incident. Number nine, how has life been after what has happened? Life's been fucking great. You know what I mean? To be honest with you, and you know? You I know a lot of motherfuckers were expecting me to be on some homeless bullshit and, you know, not have my shit together and be down at the welfare office begging for food stamps and shit. Nah, my nigga, that's not the case, dude. Life has been fucking great, dude. Um, as a matter of fact, as much as it sucked to go through that entire ordeal, it's kind of like it was God's way of saying, you know what? I need to make something dramatic happen in your life because you're hanging around the wrong fucking people. From ADP's perspective, everyone else was at fault for trying to expose his inability yeah, he's very with victim, mining, dude. and anyone victim who thought minded. otherwise was a troll harassing him. As delusional as this perspective may seem, there was still a group of small hardcore fans who still supported ADP and wanted to see him continue making content. Looking at his current channel, ADP has over 25,000 subscribers and counting. However, considering his track record, it's unlikely that ADP's new platform will last much longer 
longer, especially after the release of this video. ADP445 <laughs> is the prime example of the phrase, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. He's still desperately clinging to a deteriorated career while trying to make the same content from his 2016 era. Time and time again, the internet has shown EDP that he is no longer welcome and made sure all of his social media accounts were banned. With that in mind, one can only assume that his current channel will receive the same fate. Or maybe the internet has given up wiping off the stain that is EDP445. For as long as Jack Doherty is- Hey, 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 don't promote me other content. I'm, I'm thoroughly still enjoying the one that you just made. You know, I'm trying to break it down and give my feedback. Dude's a, dude's an interesting, interesting fellow, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what the laws are on, like, that kind of stuff. And I don't really know why he's, like, not locked up or not, like, under some kind of watch. You know what I'm saying, bro? I guess it's kind of hard to prove somebody's intention, but... You can look at the text messages. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I. Just, <laughs> I don't know. Dude's dude's fucking weird. You know what I'm saying? Dude's definitely weird. You know what I'm saying?